Hello, everybody. In this video, we're going to go. We're going to discuss uh, similarity ratios and similarity statements, um, and how to go and look for them, how to determine which one's similar of two polygons, and work from there. Alrighty. Um, so when you think about the word similar, something that you can go ahead and think of it as like maybe like something that looks similar to something else, it looks the same. Um, but in mathematics, similar is ideally where you have the same shape but you have different sizes. So kind of how you have different types of shirts and they're all different sizes. Same shirt, but all, it's XL, small, medium, um, 2XL, same, uh, same idea. Um, but in this case, we have a square, uh, I mean a, a rectangle. And in this rectangle, we have simply a size to go ahead and identify. So you have 1 and 2. We have 4 and 8 for rectangle A and B. Now, from here, um, what we have going on is like uh, one way to determine whether something's really similar, the most basic way, is like how do you get from val that value to the next value? So times 4. How do you get from 2 to 8? So times 4. So they have a relationship. They have 4 as a value that makes them 4 times bigger. So one, of the, one way to go ahead and help you out if you're ever looking for something. Now, looking at the next one, if we try and match up something that would look similar to it, so these two triangles, are they similar? Yes or no? I don't know. Um, do they have the same value where they multiply? These two would go ahead and be a yes. These two are similar. Yes. Yes, they are. As for the ones down here, let's go ahead and just use our quick, uh, quick way. So 3 to 15 gives you times 5. 4 to 20 gives you times 5. And then 1 to 5 gives you times 5. Okay? So that's ideal what you got. Um, so you have these two figures that are also similar. So yes. Okay. So just be careful when you're looking for these. This is actually more of a so you can go ahead and pick up what what is similar, what is not similar. Now when you're going and showing your work for this, are the polygons similar? The way that we're going to go ahead and work it out is that you have to identify which sides are corresponding and which angles are corresponding. Ideally, which means, and you probably remember that from like maybe hopefully last semester maybe, um, but a refresher is like whenever you have two, uh, two points and they line up with the next one, the next polygon over. So first polygon, second polygon, these two happen to be going at the same angle, the same side length um, in a way, but we have to figure out what the value is, that can, that, uh, what's the relationship between both sides. So we have EF, so here's how you show your work, EF over... AB. So EF is going to be 6 over 18. And if I reduce that, that becomes 1 third. So I have 1 third as my possible uh, similarity ratio. So this one here is 1 third the size of my second polygon. Now next one. If I'm looking for EF, I mean FG. So I have FG over BC. So now you have to go ahead and train what you're looking at. So FG is 14, and then you have 42. If you go ahead and divide it, let's say 7 fits into 14 twice. 7 fits into uh, 42. How uh, many times? 7, 6 times. Reduce it, you get one third. Look at that. That's one third again. So that's one third of the size of that one. So far, we're so good. Okay. Now the next one. We have HG and DC. Now, look at this. I'm, I'm looking, I'm, I'm going in order. So I'm not going to go in, I'm not skipping around. Uh, whatever order I'm in, I have to go ahead and deter, uh, place those same letters in that, in that way. So HG is 20, and then I got 60. You can go ahead and divide them by 20, and you'll get 1 and 30. Look at that, very close. So are these similar, yes or no? So this is how you show your work. Now the last one, I have AD, let's see, and I got EH. So I got EH over AD, which is 3 over 9, and that's going to be 1 third. So are these similar, yes or no? This will be yes in this case, yes. So this is your work that you need to show on how to go ahead and prove that it is similar. Now, this one here, this way over here, it was a little bit more of a quicker just to introduce you what it looks like, uh, what we're getting ourselves into. But you have to show your work 
and knowing which angles and which sides are corresponding to each other? So this one's a yes. Now, if yes, give me the similarity statement. The similarity ratio is automatically what we have. So it's one semicolon three. Or you can say one third. So just be careful. That's what we're looking for. Now, the similarity statement just ideally puts it in order. So whatever point you start at, and you're trying to find out which one it's going to be. Let's see, we'll take a... Yeah, we'll put green. We have to go ahead and identify it. So I'm going to start at E, okay? And then that's going to go ahead and work. And then we're going to work our way around, like going this way. I'm going to start at A and work around this way. So it has to go in order. So these have to match up with whatever letters over here. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four. It's quadrilateral. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw like a four-sided figure. Uh, so that's E, F, G, and then H. It's similar to A, B, C, D. So there you go. So that's going to be, uh, you have a quadrilateral. E, F, G, H is similar to, that's what little tilde is for, similar to quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Okay, so just be very careful. Now, let's say we're looking at one where we're trying to figure out whether it's similar or not, and you're like, oh, which one would be considered not a similar case? Okay, so let's look at this one right here first. So, number three. Let's go ahead and identify BC and UV. Ideally, it's facing the same direction. It's pointing the same direction. So we're going to go ahead and solve for it. So I'm going to have BC over UV, which is 25 over 5. And if you reduce it, it becomes 5 over 1. Okay, so that's going to be that one right here in yellow. So let's say we have this blue one right here. Oh, my phone. So you have UT and BA. So U, uh, let's see, BA and UT. So that's going to be 16 over Four, and that's 4 over 1. Now, are these the same? Nope, not the same. So that means automatically no, you, need, you don't need to fill this out. Okay, and then move on. Why are they not similar? Because this is 5 times bigger, and that happens to be 4 times bigger. In order for two polygons to be similar, all of these sides have to side, have the same similarity ratio. Okay, so just be very careful when you're working these types of problems. Now, sometimes it gets a little bit more difficult. Something I would go ahead and advise is to go ahead and use a highlighter uh, as a point of reference. So I know that's my triple right here. And this is my triple right here. So angle B and angle J. And then you can pick a certain direction that you want to start. And you can start this direction, and you can start this direction, however you want. Um, but just make sure it is going in order in comparison for it to become a corresponding angles and corresponding sides. Okay, so just get a little bit of a uh, jump start uh, and good luck in your uh, good luck in the next video.